हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू दिस सब्जेक्ट इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक फील्ड थियोरी वी आर इन चैप्टर नंबर एट दैट इज मैग्नेटिक फोर्सेस मटेरियल्स एंड इंडक्टेंस इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोस वी हैव स्टार्टेड विद द फर्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज फोर्स ऑन ए मूविंग चार्ज व्हेन अ चार्ज इज मूविंग इन द फील्ड ऑफ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड और इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड वी हैव द फॉर्मुलेशन टू फाइंड द वेक्टर फोर्स एक्सर्टेड ऑन टू दैट चार्ज बिकॉज ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर मैग्नेटिक फील्ड और इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड based on to that concept we have solved one problem statement also now let us take one more problem where we are given the presence of magnetic field a charge is there it is having certain mass it is having certain magnitude of charge into the coulombs and we are asked to determine the velocity acceleration kinetic energy and the magnetic force exerted on to that particular charge so let us see problem number 2 problem statement is given a charged particle of mass 2 kg and 1 coulomb starts at the origin with velocity of 3 ay cap meter per second and travels in the region of uniform magnetic field d bar is equal to 10 az cap tesla at t equal to 4 second calculate we have three parts velocity and acceleration of the particle magnetic force on it and finally the kinetic energy and location to see this problem statement first of all we come to know 2 kg mass is given to us capital q that is very much important to us in finding such uh, types of problems for force we have q is equal to 1 coulombs now the velocity is given to us that is 3 ay cap in meter per second and it starts from origin okay now it travels the magnetic field given to us that is 10 to uh, 10 into az cap tesla and at this time instant we are supposed to calculate what is velocity let us denote v is equal to what let us denote acceleration by small a is equal to what magnetic force by f bar and kinetic energy k ke or ka you can write at the particular location so let us begin to solve problem number 2 first of all we will mention all the given details so i denote capital sorry small m to be mass of this charged particle it is given to us that is 2 kg further we are given magnitude of charge so q is equal to 1 coulomb the velocity is given to us that is 3 ay cap provided t is equal to 0 and it starts at origin so origin we know the coordinates are 0, 0, 0 in the rectangular coordinate system because the unit vector here is ay cap it means it is a rectangular coordinate system and the magnetic field is represented by b bar having the value 10 az cap in tesla here electric field is not specified so our work is quite simple to calculate the force because of the magnetic field only so we know the relationship to obtain force exerted on a moving charge because of the presence of magnetic field and that is given to us f bar is equal to capital q in bracket v bar cross product with b bar but we know that f bar is having the relation m a where a i put bar which is the acceleration a directed one m being the mass f is equal to ma is a simple relation we know it from our school days so equating the two we can have m a bar is equal to q v cross product with b bar so obtaining the acceleration from this we can write it to the form a bar is equal to capital q upon m in bracket v bar cross product with b bar now this is the acceleration acceleration we know that it is the time derivative of the velocity so for acceleration we can mention it is dv bar by dt <coughs> hence we can rewrite it to the form q upon m v bar into cross product with b bar now if velocity v bar is given to us 
as v sub x x ax cap plus v sub x y ay cap plus v sub x z az cap resolving its components into the rectangular coordinate system and substituting the values of q m and b we can write d d t of v bar will be equal to 1 by 2 here in the determinant we have the first row ax cap ay cap az cap followed by vx vy vz coefficients of the velocity vector into the second row and the third row will be having zeros so which will be giving us the value phi u into vy ax cap minus vx ay cap ay cap here it is now if we compare the coefficients to the above relation we get ddt of vx will be equal to phi u vy whereas ddt of vy we obtain minus phi u vx and ddt of vz we obtain zero or vz is equal to capital a we can write here so these equations i can mention equation number 1 equation number 2 equation number 3 here now we want to eliminate vx and vy from the first two equation by taking the second order derivatives and the second order derivatives we can represent d2 vx by dt square so that will be equal to phi u and dvy dt will be equal to minus 25 vx or we can mention d2 vx by dt square plus 25 vx will be equal to 0 so this is the differential equation we have obtained the solution of this differential equation into the standard form is given to us that is vx will be equal to capital b cosine of phi u t plus c in into sine of phi u t let us say this is equation number 4 we have now we require the constants from equation number 1 and 4 we can write phi u into vy will be equal to d d t of vx that is minus phi u b sine of phi u t plus phi u c cosine of phi u t or we can write it vy will be equal to minus b sine of phi u t plus c cosine of phi u t this is equation number 5. Now we want the constant values capital A, capital B, capital C that are appearing into the above equation. So for that we use the initial condition that is at t is equal to 0 we have v bar given by 3 a y cap. a y cap here it is. So this results into vx will be equal to 0 vy being in the ay cap direction it will be 3 and vz will be equal to 0 so now substituting t equal to 0 in the equation 4 and equation number 5 we can write 0 will be equal to capital b cosine of 0 plus capital c sine of 0 therefore here we write b is equal to also 0 and we can write 3 is equal to that is the value of vy minus b it is sine of 0 plus capital c it is cosine of 0 so this implies capital c is equal to 3 capital c is equal to 3 and from the equation number 3 we can put 0 is equal to capital A therefore capital A is equal to 0 so A is equal to 0 B is equal to 0 and capital C is equal to 3 we can write 
v bar as vx ax cap plus vy ay cap plus vz az cap in the form that is v is equal to 3 sin of high ut ax cap plus 3 cosine of high ut ay cap plus 0 az cap now we are provided the condition t equal to 4 seconds this is the problem statement we are asked to find these parameters at t is equal to 4 seconds so applying the condition we put t is equal to 4 so we obtain v bar given by 3 sine of how you into 4 will be 20 mm. x cap plus 3 cosine of again 20 it will be the resultant ay cap so this becomes 2.739 ax cap plus 1.224 ay cap so this is the velocity at t is equal to 4 hence i make outline to it the velocity is given with the unit that is meter per second so in the part a we were asked what is the velocity that velocity is having this form 2.739 ax cap plus 1.224 ay cap meter per second further we are asked the acceleration of the particle so for acceleration of the particle we simply write a bar given by ddt of v bar so v bar we have mentioned so the differential with respect to time we may obtain 15 cosine of phi ut ax cap minus 15 sin of phi ut ay cap so upon obtaining acceleration this way we substitute t is equal to 4 so at t is equal to 4 a bar will be obtained as 6.101 ax cap plus 13.703 ay cap as this is the acceleration acceleration is time derivative of the velocity hence we can substitute the unit meter per second square this is the unit so this way we are covered with obtaining the velocity v so velocity v we have already outlined here and the acceleration to have this form thus the part a is finished so for part a velocity and acceleration both we have determined now part b requires the magnetic force onto the charge q so for obtaining the magnetic force we use the simple relation that is f bar is equal to m into a we have acceleration in vector form just now the result of the part a so mass that is 2 kilograms that we put into the SI units and acceleration we put 6.101 AX cap minus 13.703 AY cap. So this simple multiplication gives us the magnetic force onto the charge that is 12.2 AX cap minus 27.4 AY cap. So this is the result of part B as this is the force we must put unit the newtons so for part b this was the question magnetic force onto the charge what is f bar so that we have this way now the last part of this problem number two is left what is the kinetic energy and the location so for part c we can write kinetic energy denoted by ke okay so that is given by 1 by 2 m v square so v magnitude we have to take so here 1 by 2 as it is mass that is 2 it is here and in the mod v square so the magnitude of the vector we can find by the under root sign here so it will be the square of coefficient values summation here 2.739 will be squared and added with 1.224 square so this gives us the result to be 9. 
as this is energy whether it is potential energy or kinetic energy we have to put the unit of energy in terms of joules so 9 joules is the answer for part c so this way we are covered with part a b and c for problem number 2 based on to the force on a moving charge so in the next video we are going to take the new topic that is course on differential current element for getting more information to the subject electromagnetic field theory you can subscribe to ekda channel thank you